Hi guys, this is Tim with Inflatable Office and I'm here to show you a little quick how-to on our new routing and delivery. Uh, I'm already logged in here so I'm going to go ahead and click the delivery option. Now this delivery feature is free for anybody who uses Inflatable Office or if you want to just use the delivery feature you can sign up for a free account with us and do that. Um, I have to pick a date range that I want to route. I know there's some things on the 26th so I'm going to pick that day. Um, I just want to deal with that day, so I'll click it twice to make that my range. Notice up here the start hour is set to 5. That corresponds with the 5 a.m. here on this grid, this time grid. Um, you can change that if you like. Uh, also, the first thing we notice here is we see the map with all the pinpoints. Now, if we hover over a pinpoint here, we're going to see it show up on the map and on the other box here. These different boxes, uh, this side is the delivery box, and the length of the delivery time is one three hours so that's how long it's going to take us to set up this stuff and you can see the the boxes size corresponds to that same thing with the return so this is the teardown if we set a teardown time of uh, 45 minutes it shows up here um, and the size of it corresponds to that uh, so you'll see also that these are in order of time so 945 11 45 215 515 uh, we're going to start dragging these over just to see how we can load our trucks up here. We notice there's a, a little pink dot here and that shows us where we told the customer we would show up. So I'm going to put it there. You see the text is black. If I go above that, I'm early. It's going to show yellow. If I go below that, it shows red because we're actually infringing on the actual event time. That means we wouldn't be set up in time for the event. You also notice that these um, little travel blocks here are showing up and those are dynamic so as you move things around those are going to change uh, this right here shows the travel time from the warehouse to the event and then from the event back to the warehouse because that's all we have in the truck right now if you need more information about an event at any time you can click on the block here and it'll show you that information uh, we can see here uh, and this is a quick way to get to that person's lead if you want to click it it'll take you there uh, but we see the information about the actual event time the address. Uh, this has to do with staffing, the number of people you're sending, uh, and then the items that you're sending, the delivery type that you're going to do, and if you have any notes on it, those will show there as well. Um, close that. Uh, the other thing you may have noticed is that we have two different colors here, like a lighter and a darker. Uh, the darker one means basically that you're planning on sending staff uh, to be at that event, and so it's darker. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this one over next and see where I can fit this in. Uh, notice here I can take it and stick it right underneath there and it's going to fit perfectly. Um, and I can keep doing this and filling these things in uh, wherever I'd like to, to set them. Uh, you can also notice that if I wanted to say maybe tighten these up a little so I don't have any downtime, I can just push them up like that and they will tighten up. Uh, these are now yellow which means I probably should let the customer know that we're going to come a little early um, but that's going to be way more efficient for me to do it that way. Uh, the other option you have here is you can always use the auto load button. Go ahead and click that. What it's doing right now is it's finding the optimal configuration uh, to load everything in based on the settings that you have defined. Uh, and now by default it's going to try to hit everything that you told the customer. So you can see in this case you told the customer you'd be there. That's when it's going to put it in. So if I did want to change that I could move those up and uh, let the customer know. Uh, similarly down here I can move this down and they always they push so you can always move things around pretty easily. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you print out your routing stuff. Uh, before you print you have to save so I'm going to go ahead and save that. Um, before I go here I, I want to show you one more thing. You can see we have these uh, this information here about how many miles, how many man hours, and how much money we estimate it's going to cost you. Um, now you can change some of those things if you want to change the gas cost or the hourly rate, that'll change your dollar value there. Uh, the other thing you can do is when you're down here and you're moving around, if you want to see the map, click here. It'll it'll show you the map uh, just so you get a quick view of where it's at um, while you're routing without scrolling back up. Uh, but let me take you back up here. I've saved it, so now I'm able to print. Go ahead and click the print button, and it's going to load up the print page. Um, you have some settings here where you can you can also set these and that's because if your manager is doing it from the worker site uh, they'll need to set that information to get the right printout um, they don't always come from the routing page uh, so now we have it checked here to show the directions you can add turn by turn in and you see they expanded inside here 
if you want. Um, let me just show you how these are set up. Your start time is 9.15 at this address. It's going to take you half an hour to get to the next place. And you're going to be there setting up that event for an hour and 15 minutes directly to the next one at 11 a.m. and so on. Uh, when you do have a break in the day, you'll see that in there too. Uh, and then it'll show for each vehicle. And these will print out on different pages. Uh, we can also add other things like say we want to print a vehicle packing list that shows you how to load the vehicle, what order things should go in. It'll group things together as well. Um, you can see it down here shows you everything that needs to go in, the order it needs to go in, the common items, so it looks like I'm going to need 14 extension cords and 48 pound uh, bags of sand. Um, you can also add packing lists. Uh, it has for deliveries and returns, meaning say you have somebody... Sorry about that error. Um, I was on something else running on the background. You have some uh, people that maybe doing the delivery and different trucks doing the returns, so in that case you'd want to print the returns out for those trucks. Um, you can also print the contracts, and you can see all that stuff is going to just fill in. It's going to be in order of how you're going to need it uh, when you deliver your day. And let me just show you real quick what uh, it looks like to print. So this is kind of a print preview here, and you can see that everything is put on its own page um, unless it overlaps. So and it's all in order. So you're all ready to go for the weekend or whatever day you're routing. Uh, again, this is Tim with Inflatable Office and I hope you enjoyed this. I know that you guys will have lots of great ideas that we'll incorporate as time goes on. Um, but we're pretty proud of how this has turned out and we think that uh, it's going to save you guys a lot of time and a lot of money. Thanks.